this is a big one, right? My mom went here. My grandfather obviously played here. Um, my uncle Jamie played cornerback here. I have a lot of history at Michigan State too, but a lot of people forget about my history on the Notre Dame side. Okay, and you know something that my mom holds, um, something that my mom holds very dear to her. The fact that she went here, the fact that her dad went here, the fact that this that her dad was able to come back and donate money to it. Point is, this place has meant a lot to us, you know, both my family and my extended family, for a long time. And um, I don't know. I'm just excited to be able to, you know, continue doing it, even though I didn't go to school here. I was a big learning curve last year, just because that was really my first year coaching linebackers. Um, it was awesome. I learned a lot from Coach Golden. I learned a lot about how to deal with individual players and not just coaching them all the same, but finding out what makes each player tick, what's important to each player, what's each player's goals, et cetera, et cetera. And maybe the most important is how does each player learn? And that's something I think that I've gotten better at, and I hopefully continue to do so as we move forward. We'll give Coach Golden credit. He, you know, he kind of let me do that you know, from, from pretty early on. You know, I think he and I have a good relationship, and I think we're able to kind of get on the same page in terms of what we wanted to do and what we wanted to get done with individual drills when we do the indie period, what you're talking about. Um, so that kind of progressed as the year went on. Again, he and I see things the same way, and we started doing some different drills that I, you know, I kind of presented. Um, which led me to take control of it. But give credit to him. He allowed me to do that from the beginning, and I think it's a large reason why I'm standing here right now. Not much, I'm not looking at it much different. I, I solely looked at this last year like I was a linebacker coach. So I'm being honest with you, I'm not looking at it different. It's a lot different room than it was last year. Okay, we had a lot of guys that played a lot of snaps last year, guys that basically could teach me the defense when I came in here. Right? And so when I go to meetings, I could kind of lean on them and those sorts of things. Well, that's gone. We have Jack Kaiser, who may be the smartest of the bunch that's still here, but there's a lot of guys, you know, Kingston, Kia, even Drake, Snead, Jaden, you know, all those guys that haven't really played a lot. So there's going to be a little bit more coaching involved. But I think that's also fun because it kind of gives me the opportunity to put my spin on it. You know what I mean? And they say that the room takes over the, you know, the mentality or the personality of the position room or the position coach. And I think this year is really my first year to get the chance to do that. It's a great question. I think it's what he said. It's the direct, you know, it's, it's high energy. It's direct teaching on the field and in the classroom, meaning ask the kids what do they know, make them spit it back to you. But it's, I mean, it's you have to answer and then we're moving. You know what I mean? Like when you come in the building, it's, we, we have an expectation as linebackers. One, like we talked to Drake Bowen who's playing baseball. Did you see his first score? He slid, yeah, he's representing our room. We talk about that. Like we operate a certain way in our room on our defense and on our team, and that's expected as soon as you walk in.